This is about a 10 minute job if it's not on camera. Just undo this, undo the exhaust pipe, take off these four head bolts, this will pull off, take off that circlip that holds the wrist pin, knock, off, knock out the wrist pin, pull off the piston, reverse that, don't make any mistakes and you'll be okay. These things are really easy to work on. You just take off the four head bolts, basically take off the carburetor and pull the head and the barrel off. That's really all there is to it. First you gotta get this gasket, the space gasket off. You can take it with a razor blade, but you probably wanna wire wheel it, which is what I'm doing now. When you're done wire wheeling it, you can uh, go to the piston. The head gasket's no more than a piece of aluminum. Uh, I didn't measure it, but I'll say 10 thousandths thick. You could literally make it yourself. So once you got that barrel off, remove one of these circlips you see here. Remove one. The uh, wrist pin will just, should just slide out. Clean this up. That little scuffing's nothing. Make sure you clean out those ring grooves right there. So insert a piston ring in the barrel and push it down with the piston so it's where it should be. Push it down about halfway, a little less than halfway. Okay, then you got the ring down there. You can see that it's a very small ring gap, which tells us we're in good shape. I'm not even going to bother to measure it. I don't know what the spec is anyhow. My guess is about five thousandths. See that little pin there and there's one on top? Those pins, the ring gap goes on either side of the pin. That goes for that little oil scraper I showed you too. And that's for the uh, oil groove, which is the second groove. You don't see that very often, but you put that in first and then put the ring over it. The next thing we look for is a dot some kind of a mark on the top on one side or the other of these rings if you see one then the dot goes up we don't see one however there is a green that might show up here on that and I'm just going to assume that the green is for the oil uh, and, and that's how I'm going to put it together so there and I can't see a lick of difference on them so I'm not sure why that one is marked green all right now the rings are expanded they're you know loose so if you're not careful, it'll rotate right over those pins, so make sure you don't lose track of that. So you've got a wrist pin little bearing cage, put some two-stroke oil on that, put some two-stroke oil on the wrist pin, and simply press the wrist pin in. You've already got the one circlip in. So now I'm going to tell you the rest of the story. You don't want these gaps in here. Dropped it. You want them up in, you want the gaps up in here. Maybe you can see the tip of that is almost ready to fall in. There's, I hope you can see that. Okay, so now I'm going to push it in the rest of the way. Come on in there. Hold on. All right, so now it's in. The rest of the story is this. I've been doing this for decades. Sun races, motocross. A few years ago, graduation day in high school, I go over to the house to change his piston and stuff. These are all two strokes. When two strokes were still able to win. And I'm doing a bunch of work. I noticed the clock. I got to go. I pushed this in. I did not have a perfect view of this. And when I don't have a perfect view, I always move my body around, do what I have to do so I can physically see that this is all in there. Guess what happened? I was in a rush. I pushed it all in like I've done literally, you know, probably 200 times, 500 times. I didn't look at it and that my friend was very expensive because part of it had not seated into its groove well he goes and starts it the ring or the um, clip comes out the wrist pin bangs against the cylinder wall and we get to bore it out put in a new piston and spend a couple hundred bucks make sure this thing is fully in its groove okay save yourself a lot of time and grief that was the first and only time that happened and you'd like to think it would never happen. Next thing you got to be careful with is this little pin on the pistons, right? It holds that ring gap. Still haven't screwed that one up yet, thank God. But I've made just about every mistake you can make once. I'm not bragging. It's just the way things are when you do things decades after decades. So now I've got those rings with the gap on each side of the pin. 
Now you compress these rings by hand and just slip the barrel on. It'll slip on. You just don't want the rings to move. As long as the rings don't move, you're done, almost. So you got to break the glaze on the bore. I don't have a ball uh, hone like I do for the other stuff. Um, so I'm just taking some 220. I call that sandpaper. It's actually for doing drywall, but it's 220. And uh, break the glaze off as best you can. Now, if we were racing 50s, I'd have a ball hone for this. This will work just fine. Just break the glaze off as best you can. We've got that cleaned out. Make sure you spray it clean with some brake clean or something. Lube everything up with some two-stroke oil. And here we go. Okay, so I'm slipping it on. And it, there it goes. Well, the piston moved. But anyhow, it's on. You can see there now. All right. Just going to keep pushing. All right, so it's pushed on now. We don't care if that happens. I'll just push that puppy down. Okay, I got pushed down. Put on your head gasket. And the head here. Put this in place. Just slip the carburetor on here. Tighten up it. Bolt. A typical head bolt torque on something like this would be in the 12 to 15 pound range. I don't have the specs for it. And that's just what I'm going to torque it to is in that 12 to 15 pound range.